More than 2,000 people in the United States received a lung transplant last year, and today nearly 1,000 people are waiting for the life-saving surgery. And now surgeons have developed a new innovative way to extend a patient's life while they are waiting for a donor. Winkus Health and Medical reporter Amy Osher has more. It's really heavy and it's all just damaged. This was 34-year-old Davy Bowers' lung, a snowboarder, skateboarder, fisherman, and golfer. At 21, Davy smoked a pack of cigarettes a day. Ten years ago, he switched to vaping. It's honestly more addicting than cigarettes. And then last year, Davy caught the flu. I felt a little short of breath, was coughing up a lot of secretions. The lungs, you know, were so heavily infected that they start to liquefy, and he had developed pus in both his cavities. And literally, if you look at his x-ray, there's nothing left. Surgeons at Northwestern Medicine created a new life-saving procedure to save Davy. It was very clear to me that he needed a double lung transplant, but it was also very clear that he would not survive that transplant. Thoracic surgeon Ankit Bharat removed Davy's damaged lungs and created an artificial lung. After we took both his lungs out and engineered a system uh, that could be attached to his body and uh, keep his blood flow through the heart, keep his brain and other organs perfused. They placed double D breast implants inside his chest cavity to keep his heart in place. So within uh, 24 hours after we took out the lungs, um, his body started to get better. Within 48 hours, Davy had new lungs. I can't even put it into words. I mean, they gave me a second chance at life. Amy Osher, Wink News. Well, doctors believe that this new procedure could help other people survive when they are out of options, giving their bodies time to heal from infections and giving them the best possible chance of surviving a lung transplant. We'll have more coming up after the break.